explaining, and we'll have a little bit more time to go over stuff. And again, quite honestly, that assignment was a little bit longer than normal, but I knew you were going to have class time to get started with it and stuff. So, um, And tonight's a worksheet, so you're going to find that that's a whole lot nicer. All right. Okay, this is uh, 1.2 adding integers. We have to lay a solid, solid, solid foundation in adding integers. And basically what we're going to be dealing with is positives and negatives. Now, some of you may already know how to, how to deal with positive and negatives. Great. But we have to be great at it. Almost every single math problem the rest of your life is going to have positives and negatives in it. And we got to be great at it. Can't just be good at it. We got to be great. And so I'm going to try to train your brain these next couple days so that you'll think clearly and easily in how to handle positive and negative numbers. So to do that, I'm probably going to say some things today you already know. It's okay. Just hang in there. And I'm going to teach you a methodology that maybe you don't use right now. I want you to try to learn my methodology because, I'm, again, my goal is not – uh, my goal is to get you to be just about 100% with these because they come up all the time. All right, so without any further ado, let's get into this. Number one, so first off, adding integers using a number line. I'm going to use the abbreviation. You can write the word number if you want. Adding integers using a number line. Remember, in here, don't copy, think, all right? So when I said the word number, then you should think, okay, I put the word number in there or you can use the number symbol. All right, pretty simplistic. Um, what are we going to do? So let me give you some stuff first, and then we'll do it here, all right? So I'm going to take my blue. Oh, I hate when my screen does that. It jumps on me. All right, so when you're dealing with adding numbers on a number line, you always got to start at zero. So you start at zero. All right, not a big deal. <laughs> it's going to do this all day for me. All right, I think most of you guys know positive is what direction? Say it if you know it. Right. So positive is right. And therefore, negative's got to be left. All right, good. You're thinking, right? Don't be a copier. Be a thinker. Think of the questions I'm asking. Don't just copy. If you copy, you're not going to learn anything. Okay, don't let the big word add-ends scare you. You know what add-ends are? Things that are added. It's so like if I said, what's 3 plus 7? The number 3 and the number 7 are the add-ins, all right? Don't let that scare you. Just throwing in some, vo some vocab. All right, so real easy today. What if we have add-ins? What if we're adding things with the same sign? All right, I'm only going to do one of this because I think you guys could handle this problem when you were in probably kindergarten, maybe first grade. 3 plus 5, well, all right. But the point, the only reason I stuck it on here is just one thought about the number line. And before we write it, man, my screen is really being crazy today. Go ahead and take your red. In this area right up here, don't draw a box, but just right there, I want to focus your attention. Put a red asterisk and, and write this. Place a dot on the number line to indicate the answer. Place a dot on the number line. You can write out the word number, use the symbol. Place a dot on the number line to indicate the answer. Place a dot on the number line to indicate the answer. because some students don't remember how to finish these. Okay, so let me just show you what we're going to do. Grab your green. Remember, we started zero, so we want a vertical line above, whoops, above the zero. So you can see I just put a green. I put a vertical line above the zero. That's my start. i got to go three, right? Not a big deal. We're going to do many of these because it's so boring, right? So I went three to the right. And then I want to go five more to the right from there. So again, now I'm starting at the three. I go one, two, three, four, five. And lo and behold, where do we end up? Right where we thought we were, right? Very boring, very easy. Now, am I done? No. Make sure I put a dot on the answer, right? I need a dot at the eight because that's the answer to the problem. All right, boring. We all knew three plus five was eight. Really, really boring. Not a big deal. Not really interested in 
in adding positive numbers on a number line. It's too simple. It's too, it's too easy. But I, the only reason I did it is to show you that adding negatives is exactly the same concept. Okay? It's the only reason we did that. So when we're adding negatives on a number line, and by the way, this is the only day we're going to do this is adding positives or negatives on a number line is today because we're going to learn tomorrow how to efficiently add positive and negatives. All right. So remember, where do you start at zero? So what should you do first? Put a vertical line above zero. I'm using red now, right, because I have negatives. And we just said negative is what direction, right or left? Uh, left. All right, so i got to go left how much? No, what's the first number? Okay. Left two, right? So you're going to go left two. And I like to put the number up above the amount that I'm going. And remember, so that now I'm at negative two, and from negative two, I got to go left how many? Four, right? So I got to go four spaces. One, two, three, four spaces puts me there, right? Do you agree? And so what's the answer? And I hope you all knew in the beginning it's negative six. But that's how the work would look if they want you to graph it. Thankfully, tonight I'll give you a worksheet, and the, and the number lines are already there, so you're doing just like we did, starting at zero and go the amount. Not a hard concept. What I'm trying to get into your brain is just to make sure that it kind of clicks on why a negative 2 plus a negative 4 is a negative 6. And you can see that's exactly what we did, right? We had two negatives. And now we need four more negatives. We went two to the left, and we got to go four more to the left. And we end up at negative six. A lot of times, too, I like to put a little L next to it, right, for left two and left four. Because, again, negatives go left. So somebody raise your hand. Tell me what to do with C. Tell me how to do it. John, what should I do? Um, put a line above zero. Perfect. What else? Then go... Negative seven to the left. Okay, so I go how much to the left? Uh, how many? Seven. seven to the left. Perfect. All right. So I'm going seven to the left. That was left seven. And then you go left two more. And I go left two more. I agree. Am I done, John? No, you need to put a dot on the negative And then I put a dot on the negative nine. Exactly right. So good. So John said put a vertical line at zero. Go left seven. Then go left two more, put a dot on the answer, negative 9 is the answer. Okay? Makes sense? Seven negatives and two more negatives is, of course, nine negatives. Okay. Well, now let's do add ends again. Don't let that bother you. But now we're going to add numbers up with different signs. And again, we need to get these 100%. we got to get really, 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 really good at these. So how do you add up one positive and one negative number on a number line? Well, we'll do exactly what we did a minute ago. So where would we start? At the number zero. zero. So my first number, is it red or green? It's red, so I'm going to use red first. So I'm going to start. And would you agree I'm at zero? So somebody tell me what to do next. Brett, what do, we, what do you want to do next? Um, put a vertical line over zero and then go over three. Which direction, left or right? Left. All right, so I'm going left three. I agree. And then I'm putting that vertical line there. I went left three. Do you guys agree that that's negative three? Okay, anybody want to tell me what to do next? Abigail? Not quite, but good thought you're thinking, and that's great. Garth? Start with negative three and then go five. Yeah, see, we're at negative three right now, and that's where we got to continue from. So he's right. I start at negative three, and I got to go five spaces to the right. So watch. One, two, three, four, five spaces to the right. Right? I went right five. Because that's where we're at. We were at negative three, go five to the right. Am I done? How do I finish it? Say it if you know it. Put a dot on. Put a dot on two. two. 
right? Where you end up, because where you end up is the answer. Hey, a negative three and a positive five is a positive two. Why? Because a negative three is three left, and a positive five is five to the right from there. Where do you end up? At positive two. Where do you end up? Now again, tomorrow I'm going to teach you a little bit different way of looking at these things, but that is why three negatives and five positives is a positive two. All right, let's look at B. So with B, somebody tell me what to do. How do I start it? Theodore, what do you want me to do? I agree. He said vertical line over zero and go four to the right. So that's right four. And I always do my rights in green. I do my lefts in red. Somebody tell me what to do next. Alex, is that right? Alex, what do I do next? You go to the left, 11. So where do I start? You start at four. Correct. And then go left 11. I agree. So Alex said go left seven from four. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I got to go eleven from there. And I lost my spot, and there I am, eleven. A little tough to count, but here I am, right? One, two, three, four. Oops, I'm down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, left eleven, and don't forget to put the dot on the answer because our answer is negative seven. Four positives and eleven negatives gives you seven negatives, right? To make sense? All right, I want you to do C. Go ahead and do C on your own. Go ahead and do C. Do the exact same. Okay, so hopefully you started at zero. You went left seven. From there, you have to go right five. And that should have put you at the negative two. All right. How many got that correct? Okay. Questions on any of what we just did? Can I explain anything to anybody of what we just did with the number line? So look, if you have homework, right, this is what it would look like. Do you have to use color? No, you can do it in pencil if you want. You can do homework in pencil. But again, you're going to start at zero. You're going to show this. You're going to show that. And then you're going to make sure you put the dot on the final answer. Your dot is your answer. Everybody clear on that? Okay. All right, next page. Let's get more mental. Let's get more mental. Where you need to get to in your math is thinking of the numbers as that amount of positives and negatives. You have to start thinking of them as positives and negatives. You want to think of them as positives and negatives. So, for example, a 5 is 5 positives. Therefore, a negative 3 would be 3 negatives, right? And I'm just going to draw 3 negatives. Because we need to understand and try to learn what's really going on with the numbers. Because, guys, look. How many of you already, you had adding positive and negative numbers, either in 6th grade or 7th? Okay, it should be really over everybody. But here's normally the way it's taught. Take the absolute value of the one with the most, subtract from it the absolute value of the one with the least, give the sign of the one with the most. That's usually how it's taught. Does that mean anything to anybody? Does that help anybody know actually what's going on? The answer is no. And do we have to know what's going on? We got to know what's going on. I'm just telling you, we got to know in our heads what's happening to the numbers so we can figure out the answer. Because do we want to get these 90% of the time? No, because like almost every problem has positive and negative numbers in it. We got to be 100% on these. And it's not hard if we'll learn the right way. We don't want some technique that gives the answer. Take the absolute value of the one with the most, subtract from the absolute value of the one with the less, give the sign of the one with the least, or one with the most. What does that mean? I don't know. It works, but I don't know what it means. Well, let's figure out what it means. So if we'll think of it as that amount of positives and that amount of negatives, we'll learn what it means. All right, so today we're just going to deal the rest of the time with things with the same sign. 
because they're easy. Look, negative 3 plus negative 2, guess what? It's 3 negatives plus 2 negatives. And you know what? I could teach a kindergarten to tell me the answer. Because I can say to a kindergartner, three apples and two apples is, and they'll say, five apples. <laughs> and three negatives and two more negatives is five negatives. Gee, that's hard. Now look, for tonight, we're going to write three negatives plus two negatives equals five negatives. And then underneath, we're going to write the final answer of negative five. Because we're going to try to train our brain to think this way. A couple days down the road, are we going to write all that? No. A couple days down the road, here's what your work's going to look like. Don't write this in your notes. This is how you're going to do it a couple days down the road. Done and going on. But I just want to, in the beginning, just take our time and begin to train our brain to think the right thing. When you see something like this, you need to think, hey, this is three negatives and two more negatives. So again, this problem, all right, piece of cake, all right? By the way, notice I didn't say negative three negatives. Now, there's not negative three negatives. There's three negatives. How many negatives are here? Four of them. How many negatives are here? Seven of them, right? There's four negatives and seven more negatives. For a grand total of, this is hard, 11 negatives. All right, it's easy. Answer, negative 11. Should you ever miss adding two negative numbers? You really shouldn't. It's easy. It's easy. Oh, no. Surely I can't do this one. Negative 7 plus negative 12. Uh, how about 7 of them plus 12 more of them is 19 of them. It's easy. By the way, notice I use NEG instead of negative. Save a little bit of time, right? You know, why do I want you to write a step like that? Because I want to train your brain. So look, tonight, if I give you this as an original problem, I want you to write this. You can abbreviate. I'll let you do that. But I'm trying to train your brain. And don't you remember something better if you write it? Don't you? Then just think it. You do. And that's why I do that. It's not to drive you crazy. It's not to give you a whole bunch of extra work. I'm trying to train your brain. And we're going to do this just a couple days, and then we won't need to write anything anymore. So hang with me while we do. Now, is that our final answer? No. Remember, the final answer is negative 19, right? 19 negatives is a negative 19. That's our final answer. Oh, no. Sure. We can't do this problem. I didn't even show you how to. Surely no one will know how to do negative 3 plus negative 14 plus negative 5. It's impossible. And what in the world happened? Why do I only have two spaces here? All right, I need one more space. Here, put a plus sign here. What in the world, all right? And then do an equal. All right. Now finish it off. All right, who cares if there's three of them, right? Who cares if there's four negative numbers? Does it matter? Can you add four positive numbers together? Then can you add four negative numbers together? Can we add three negative numbers together? Uh, how about like three of them? Plus 14 of them. Plus five of them. How many we got? Anybody add them up yet? 22. 22 of them, right? We have 22 negatives. Final answer, negative 22. Take a moment as I prepare to pass out your worksheets. Fill in those spaces right there. Explain in words the concept of adding two negative numbers. Just in your own words. There's no wrong answer. I just want you to go ahead and in your own words.